if you're using DaVinci Resolve 15 Beta, add in a solid color generator, and you play through, and notice that it's set to 24 frames per second, and the project you want to be uh, doing, is you want it to be 30 frames per second, so you might consider coming up to File, coming to Project Settings, and thinking you could change the timeline frame rate, but you can see that it's grayed out. And you can't change the playback frame rate and the video format uh, for the video monitoring, but you can't change it in the timeline, which uh, is going to really affect the project. And basically, what, the reason that happens is that as soon as you add either footage to your media pool, or if you add something to your timeline, whatever frame rate, whatever frame rate that is set at is what your project is set, and you can't change the timeline. But there is a way to say if you always or most times work in 30 frames per second, say, and you'd like your resolve, anything you add to the timeline to automatically be that 30 frames per second. Uh, I'll show you how to do that. So basically, easiest way is just to close out of resolve. Give it a few seconds to close down and then start up resolve again. and then open up a new project. Now don't add anything to the media pool and don't add anything to your timeline. Come up to File, Project Settings, and now that's not grayed out so you could change. So what you want to do is change this to say again 30, or you can change to 25 wherever you want. Change the playback frame rate to 30. And then change your video format to HD 1080 30, 1080p 30. Now to keep this so that each time you open Resolve, these will be the default settings, you have to come up to Presets. And you basically want to click a Save As. Now I already did this once with one I named 30 frames per second. So you click Save As. And click Yes. And give it a new name. So I said before I named mine 30 frames per second, so just name it whatever you want and click OK. And then I'll go into that one. And then you want to click on it and click load. And then if you go to master settings, you'll see that they're, they state that. So then what you want to do is you want to right click on that one you created that's the frame rate you want and click save user as default config. So now, and just load just to make sure. And then you can click cancel down here. And then if you close resolve, again, wait a few seconds. And we'll start it up again. Go into a new project. And if you go to file and check your project settings, you'll see they're all set to whatever you changed them to. And also if I add new solid color generator and go through it. See it's set to 30 seconds. So now the timeline by default will be 30 frames per second. So anything you add will automatically be 30. And if you bring in any 30 frame per second footage, it won't ask you to change the timeline or change your project settings to match. It'll automatically be 30. Now, if you try to bring in 24 frame or 25 frame per second stuff to begin with, it'll still ask to change it. But then you could just go back. If you know you're gonna be using 24, say or 24, 25 frame per second footage, come back at the project settings, either change them here or come up to one of the presets say the system config or something, and load that one. And if then for that project, the settings will be whatever you want, the 24 or 25. And if we come to the titles and come to the transparent background, I made it in my other video, which I'll link below. If you put this in here, this will be set to 30 frames per second as well. So pretty much anything you add especially in the Fusion titles, any kind of template or anything that's listed here will come in as 30 frames per second or whatever you had set it as your default. So hopefully you found that useful and I thank you for watching.